okay so in this part of the lecture we are going to have a look at what do you mean by local processing or image filtering in spatial domain okay so let us have a look at basic concepts under mask processing so this mask processing is also known as spatial domain filtering or it is also known as local neighborhood processing okay so basically this spatial filtering is very useful for image enhancement as indicated in this figure this is your original image if we apply a spatial mask for image smoothing we get this image where we can observe that this is blurred version of the original image another application of spatial filtering is image sharpening or age detection okay so if we apply a mask for performing age detection in this image we get this result so here you can easily observe all the ages present in the given input image okay so let us see how we can achieve it by local processing okay so basically in previous operations that is point processing operations we have processed each pixel value and we have not considered local neighborhood of the pixel we directly applied desired function on a single pixel value but now in case of neighborhood processing or local processing we are going to consider small neighborhood around a pixel so let us have a look at this very simple example this is a 2 by 4 image there are two rows and four columns now in order to process this very first pixel say this is your very first pixel now in order to process this particular pixel we are going to consider this neighborhood which is shown here in green color okay so in order to determine new value of this pixel we are along with this pixel we are going to consider these three neighbors okay so here we are considering simple summation operation okay so we can apply a summation operation on uh, this pixel along with the neighborhood and we can get its new value so in this case uh, in case of some operation we simply add these four pixel values and we replace original value by this addition so 6 plus 8 plus 12 plus 200 gives us this sum value which is 226 okay so in order to process a pixel along with this pixel we are considering some small neighborhood okay so after processing this pixel we can go for this next pixel which is 8 now for this pixel now we have to consider this particular neighborhood we can consider these four pixels and we apply the summation operation so 8 plus 2 that is 10 10 plus 20 that is 30 30 plus 200 gives us 230 so when we apply the neighborhood concept this summation operation for next neighborhood we get new value of this pixel with original value 8 which is 230 okay so this is processed value for this next pixel now similarly we can process all the pixels in the image by applying this neighborhood so similarly we can go for the third pixel that is this pixel with value 2 we can apply same operation that is summation on this image okay so 2 plus 0 plus 10 that is 12 12 plus 20 gives us 32 so the new value is 32 okay so 
this is concept of local neighborhood in case of point processing operation say consider simple image negative what we did we considered single pixel from the image that is six we applied a function 255 minus six on this image and we got new value which is 255 minus six okay for point processing operations similarly for next pixel a we subtracted in it from 255 to get image negative then we moved to next pixel 2 we subtracted it from 255 to get its new value similarly we can apply point processing operations on each and every pixel so in case of point processing operation we simply consider that particular pixel we apply the function on a single pixel whereas in local processing or mask processing we consider some neighborhood and we take into account all the pixels under the neighborhood to get new value of pixel under consideration this is meaning of processing an image by considering neighborhood or local processing of the given image okay so did you get the concept con dif conceptual difference between local processing and point processing if you have any doubt please type in type it in the chat box okay so this is conceptual difference between point processing and local processing okay so in case of neighborhood processing we for we consider a neighborhood of a pixel p at position x y and the neighborhood is indicated as a set np okay so neighborhood is indicated by all the pixels under the set np okay and this set as indicated here we can give this set np as a, all those pixel x y which are set uh, which are satisfying this condition that distance between x and x p should be one and distance between should between y and y p it should be one or less than one okay so you know, all the pixels if say this is your pixel under consideration p then this all these pixels are at distance one by chessboard method okay and all these pixels which are indicated in red those are neighbors of p okay so in order to process this pixel p by lo local neighborhood concept we can consider all the pixels which are indicated by red okay so this is three by three neighborhood. Okay, we are considering all immediate neighbors of pixel P. Similarly, if we are processing pixel Q, this red rectangle represents neighborhood of Q. So in order to determine new value of pixel Q, we consider all these nine pixels which are under this three by three neighborhood. This is difference between neighborhood processing and point processing or local processing and point processing. Now for this neighborhood, we can have different shapes. Okay. It's not necessary that we always use three by three neighborhood or we use two by two neighborhood as shown here. We can have, we can use various shapes and sizes for the neighborhood. So as shown here, we can simply consider horizontal and vertical neighbors for neighborhood concept. So in this particular mask, we are determining new value of pixel P by considering original uh, values of these five pixels, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so this is another type of neighborhood where we are using, uh, using four neighborhood, okay? Then this is one more type where we are simply considering two vertical neighbors. 
so we can determine new value of pixel p by considering original values of these three pixels then this is another type which is horizontal neighborhood okay instead of uh, three we can also have say five pixels vertically or five pixels horizontally then here this is similar to 3 by 3 neighborhood but now the size is increased here we are considering 5 by 5 neighborhood neighborhood so total 25 pixels are there which are considered to determine new value of pixel 5 pixel p in this figure okay so uh, usually neighborhood are used which are close to disk okay see so why we consider disk because its properties are similar to euclidean matrix that's why close approximation to disks are considered so these are the two approximations of disk uh, that is four neighborhood or 3 by 3 neighborhood or 5 by 5 neighborhood okay so uh, this is approximation to disk we cannot get exact circle when we consider discrete grid as shown here so this 3 by 3 neighborhood that is eight neighborhood or four neighborhood these are approximations to this okay so here few variations of 3 by 3 neighborhood are shown so instead of 3 by 3 we can consider 5 uh, by 5 five, five neighborhood around pixel p so 5 by 5 there are total 25 pixels out of 25 pixels one pixel is pixel under consideration p so it is known as n24 neighborhood because there are 24 neighbors to p so this is named as n24 this is n8 including the pixel total there are 9 pixel out of 9 p is pixel under consideration and there are eight neighbors to p so this is denoted as n8 in case of 5 by 5 total there are 24 neighbors so it is n24 now if we further increase the size to 7 by 7 it is denoted as n48 there are 48 neighbors okay so these are various sizes for symmetric neighborhood 3 by 3 Seven, uh, five by five, seven by seven. So, according to image application and type of images, we can use various shapes and sizes of neighborhood. Now, let us see how we apply a mask on the image in why when we are processing an image using local neighborhood concept. So, here we assume this as origin. your x value increases in this direction or column number increases in this direction and y value increases in this direction that is your row number increases along this y direction okay so we can apply a mask on each and on each and every pixel of the given image and we can scroll this mask over the entire image so as shown here uh, consider a pixel e and this is its local neighborhood okay so this local neighborhood uh, along with the local neighborhood total there are nine pixels so as shown here we can have these nine pixels a with values a b c d e f g h i okay so uh, this is your area from the image under the mask okay so this is local neighborhood of pixel e and we process the image means we apply a mask on the image or a filter on the image and these are the filter coefficients r s t u v w x y z and we apply this filter on the image or local neighborhood means we perform two dimensional convolution so this two dimensional convolution is as shown here we can get processed value of pixel b pixel e by multiplying multiplying each pixel value 
with respective filter coefficient. So we simply multiply V into E plus R into A plus S into B and so on up to last value I into Z. Okay. So this is nothing but two dimensional convolution operation. So we multiply pixel by pic, uh, pixel with respective mask coefficient. And then we add all these products, okay, to get process value of P. So multiplying pixel values with respective coefficient and then adding all these products, this is known as two dimensional convolution. Or this is meaning of applying a mask or applying a filter on the given local neighborhood. So today we stop here. So if you have any questions,